Lord, grant me courage. Lord, grant me strength. Grant me compassion that I may be your heart today, says a song. And as it continues, it says, Where there is fear I can allay, where there is pain I can heal, where there are wounds I can bind, and hunger I can feel, where there is hate I can confront, where there are yokes I can release, where there are captives I can free, and anger I can appease. Lord, grant me courage. Lord, grant me strength. Grant me compassion that I may be your heart today. The heart of God is at display in the readings of today. The heart of God that tells that you receive the spirit of adoption through which we cry, Abba, Father. Who calls the Father Abba? Only Jesus. Only Him. And in Matthew chapter 11, verse 27, it says, All things have been handed to me by my Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son. It could have stopped there. This intimate relationship with Jesus and the Father. But Jesus continued and said, And anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal himself. And by doing so, as Jesus revealed to the Father to us, he breathed on us his Spirit. And by receiving him through baptism, receiving the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we become children of God. That is charity. That is love. To share what is the most important for Him. To share the Father. And by sharing the Father to us, we become His children. And as I said in the first reading, as Jesus displayed his heart, it says that, And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. See? Heirs, recipients of the treasure of God, recipients of recipients of the life that has God given us and as I said Jesus could have kept it the mystery of the father could have remained secret that no one knows the son no one knows the father except the son and vice versa but it is the charity the generosity of Jesus by calling us to himself and by being with him, and as Paul wishes and prayed, that if only we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. In the gospel, the heart of Jesus, the heart of God, is also at display. The woman, this daughter of Abraham, will not be denied of that love manifested as healing power. In the eyes of Jesus, she is more than an ox. In the eyes of Jesus, he is more than a donkey. And by healing the women, by freeing the woman from her slavery with regard to her physical condition, Jesus magnified what it is to be considered 
as the day of the Lord, the day of the Sabbath, that for Jesus, may this day not only a day of rest, not only a day that will stop us from working, but more importantly, by healing the women, Jesus showed that the Sabbath is indeed the day of the Lord, where his people should experience his presence, that the children of God will experience the work of the one they call Abba, Father. They oppose what Jesus did. The intention may be envy. The intention may be to put him down. But what they missed is an opportunity to know more who is this Jesus. To know more who is this Jesus whose presence make them realize that God is with them. They need or they failed to make themselves the presence of Jesus, the heart of Jesus. And so by listening to these two readings of love, of charity, of kindness, of generosity of God, may we continue to pray that may God grant us courage, that God may grant us strength, that God may grant us compassion, so that we too can be his heart, we too, as children of the Abba Father, can be a presence of God to our brothers and sisters by the Spirit that we carry in our hearts. Amen.